Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I'm coming to you with my April TBR. In case you didn't watch my March wrap-up, I had a pretty spectacular reading month, and I'm hoping to follow it up with another because it would definitely do well to make my TBR pile actually look like this. This makes me feel much better. Look at all this space. That's nice. So hopefully I can get through all of these. Um, that would make me feel really, really good. So yeah, let's just jump in and talk about all the books that I want to read in April. First up, I want to talk about the arcs that I have been sent. I have three of them to read this month, so let's just talk about those. The first one that I am currently reading as of filming this video, but will be done by the time you watch it, is South of Sunshine by Dana Elmendorf. This book, along with one other one that I have, was sent to me by Albert Whitman and Company, and I'm so excited because it is a queer story. It follows a lesbian lead character who is in the South, and she has kind of fought off the fact that she is gay her whole life because where she lives, it's not, it's not really thought very well of, and they're very close-minded where she lives. Um, and then everything kind of changes when a new girl moves into school, and she can't deny that it is an actual crush, and she can no longer pretend to date boys when this girl exists. I am about 60 pages into this book right now and I'm super excited about it, even more excited about it in fact, because this is not my copy. This is the copy that I'm currently reading and this is a copy that I will be giving away on Monday. On Monday I will post my review of South of Sunshine and then I will do a giveaway for one of you wonderful people and you will be able to have an arc of South of Sunshine as well. If you are curious about this book, it comes out on April 1st and I am so so excited to be reading it. The other book that Albert Whitman and Company sent me was Dig Too Deep and this one is by Amy Al- Al- Algeer? Algeer. I'm very sorry that I did not think to figure out how to pronounce that before I filmed this. I'll figure it out. This is a YA book. It is a mystery. It is about this girl who moves in with her grandmother her last year of high school, and there is some really weird stuff going on in the city that everyone's saying is normal, but is not, and she wants to get to the bottom of it. I did not request this book. They asked if I would read it, and I was really excited to jump in and read some more of their upcoming releases. This also comes out on April 1st, and I'll be starting it as soon as I finish South of Sunshine. And the last arc that I have that I'll actually be reading close to the end of the month is Jerkbait, and this one is by Mia Siegert. This is a, another queer 2016 release that comes out on May 3rd, and it basically follows the world of being a gay teenager in the world of professional sports, which is not the most welcoming of places also to be gay. And it follows these twin brothers, and one of them attempts to kill himself because he is gay and involved in hockey, and the other one is kind of dealing with this as well, and it just sounds fantastic. I'm so excited. Um, this was on my most anticipated releases of 2016 list, and so I'll definitely be reading it and reviewing it, so look out for that near the end of the month. After that, to make up for the fact that I have three young adult books here, I have a few adult books, you know, to kind of keep up with the thing I was trying to do at the beginning of the year where I was reading less young adult, so yeah. The first one on my list is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. This is science fiction. It's supposed to be very nostalgic, very 80s, and I've had it since Christmas, and it's time. It's time for me to check this off because people absolutely love this book, and I want to understand more about the casting information for the movie because I, I don't know anything about whether it's good casting. I also have two psychological thrillers that I want to read this month, and the first one is Black Iris. This is by Leah Rader, which is um, a pen name for Elliot Wake, because the author is trans, and so he now goes by Elliot, and Leah Rader is going to be a pen name. I wanted to clear that up at the beginning, but Black Iris is a book I know almost nothing about, and I want to keep it that way. It's a thriller. It's supposed to be very weird, exciting. Um, Janelle just read it and she needed me to read it so that we could discuss it. So yes, very excited to jump into this one as well. And the final thriller that I'll be reading this month is ugh, Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This is a heavy, heavy book. This is another book that I didn't want to know too much about going in. I don't really like to know anything about thrillers. I like to be taken by surprise, but I believe that there is a murder mystery aspect to it, and also this book is incredibly interactive. There's a lot of alternative format kind of stuff, um, incident reports, uh, evidence stuff, and I think you can, uh, you can connect it to an app too. I've heard really great things about this book. I've also heard some pretty negative things about this book, but I'm hoping I will love it because it looks really interesting and I'm so excited to finally get to this even though it's kind of a beast. And the last two things I have here are both kind of more graphic books. One is a graphic novel, one is a collection of short stories with art and stuff. So that one is the Grimm's Fairy Tales, the selected stories by Jan Legendre. 
Um, this book was given to me by Janelle for my birthday, and I'm very excited about it. It has, it's so pretty, and it has like words written on it, the cover's beautiful, and inside all of the stories are illustrated. So this is Snow White, um, the end pages are really interesting and cool. And basically, I'm going to start reading a story a night for a few days and get through this because it looks great and I'm so happy to have it. And the other one I'll be reading is one of Janelle's graphic novels. I got it for her for Christmas and she loved it and insisted I read it, and that is Honor Girl by Maggie Thrash. This is a graphic memoir of her time at summer camp. She is gay, so it is also about that experience and is supposed to be very fun and interesting and light, and Janelle really, really loved it. So I am so excited to be reading this as well. There you go, guys. That is my TBR for April. It'd be great if I could get through all of these and really take the edge off of my TBR pile. Um, I filmed my wrap-up and my TBR back-to-back -back, and now I'm like surrounded in a pile of books and it's kind of absurd. So I'm gonna turn this camera off and I'm gonna put my bookshelves back together. Let me know some of the books that you guys are gonna be reading in April. I would be curious to hear about them and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!